quick look at the VNEA event that's going on in Las Vegas right now. Uh, it looks like a great event. There's a lot of singles divisions and team divisions. Uh, and it turns out, by looking at this a little bit, we can actually learn a little bit something about Fargo ratings. VNEA has not made a habit of recording match scores, so we don't tend to have past or present VNEA tournament matches in Fargo rate. So how is it we can look at this to learn something about Fargo ratings? Well, that's exactly the point. Because we don't have VNEA match scores in the system, looking at VNEA players is a good proxy for looking at players generally. How are we doing in our goal of rating all pool players? Well, uh, Masters is most elite, and the largest division there had 50 players. Intermediate had 69 players, and then regular was the big one with 661 players. Here's the Masters division. There were 50 entrants, and 35 of them, 70%, have established Fargo ratings. And here are those Fargo ratings. To add some perspective, a rating of about 760 puts you in the world top 100 and makes you more or less a credible candidate for the U.S. Moscone Cup team. A rating of 709 would put you, if you're a U.S. player, in the top 100 in the U.S. The intermediate division is on the right here. There are 69 players. 35 of them, or about 50%, have established Fargo ratings. And you can see the, gen the ratings on average for intermediate are lower than those of master, although there's significant overlap. And the big one here, the regular division, 661 players, there are about a quarter to a third of them with established Fargo ratings, and those are shown here. So here's a trend we're getting accustomed to. Stronger players are more likely to be on our radar than weaker players. We know 70% of the master players here, 50% of the intermediate players, and 30% of the regular players. If you look here at ratings of 650 or so, it's not uncommon to see players of that rating in any of the three divisions. So who are these players uh, rated above 650 uh, that are playing in the regular division here, and how do we know them? Well, there, there's players like TJ Steinhaus and Lance Salazar, Nick DeFoya, Mike Robinson, uh, who are all well-established with over a thousand games in the system. Uh, TJ plays in lots of events in the upper Midwest. Uh, Lance plays in the Mez West events. He plays in events in Vegas. He plays in the U.S. Bar Table Championship. Uh, Mike Robinson plays in, uh, has played in the Four Bears event in North Dakota. Lots of events in Alberta, like the Bar Box Championships and, and the Stampede event uh, and so forth. But there are also some players that, that might surprise you here. For instance, there's Antonio Neves from Portugal. He's a well-established 686, and we know this because he's played in Euro Tour events, he's played in the Portugal Open, uh, he's played in a Jacoby event in Wisconsin, he's played in the European Championships, a BCAPL event, and he's played in the U.S. Open 10 ball. Marcio Smith from the Bahamas has played in BCA Pool League events. Jamie Gregory from Australia has played in uh, uh, Diamond League, league events in Sydney, Australia. Those are in Fargo rate. Uh, Yuri Marsalo from Finland has played in the Interpool Open, which is a large handicapped event in Sweden. He's also played in the Nordic 10-ball uh, championships in Oslo, Norway, and the Swedish 10-ball Open in Stockholm. We think the world will be a better place. There'll be more opportunities for pool players at all levels, and pool will generally flourish when the vast majority of players are in Fargo Raid. A key is to get league games into Fargo Raid. We've spent the last couple of years developing a new software that we call Fargo Rate LMS, for League Management System, designed to do exactly this. We will release information soon about how to get started with LMS, uh, but for now let me just say that LMS will be available to large, medium, and small leagues, leagues of any size, and our hope is that when all these players come back to the VNEA event next year, that a much higher percentage of these players have established Fargo ratings.